So Apple recently announced macOS 11.4 beta for developers and well, we have references to four new Apple Silicon chips that are yet to be released. Now, if these identifiers do seem a little familiar, it's because I have covered them on the channel before since they have leaked before in previous betas. But back then we knew nothing about the chips apart from the identifiers. And of course, I assumed that maybe these two groups of chips could be the M1X and the M2 series. But guess what? I was sort of wrong about my prediction because today we have information about what these chips could be. And well, not only is it the M1X and the M2, but these chips could be the A15 and the M2X. Right, so let's begin our focus on the T6000 series because there are two variants of this chip. We have the T6000 and the T6001. Right, so that's a lot of numbers and letters, but let's break it down. So T obviously stands for TSMC, who by the way, are Apple's supplier for their silicon. And so of course we now know these new chips will be built by TSMC. Next is the H13. So this refers to the generation of the chip. This clearly is the 13th generation. And by the way, the generation number is always one number behind the A series number we see in the marketing. And so basically that means this is gonna be based on the A14, which of course makes a lot of sense because the M1 is based on the A14. And so basically what that means is that this identifier is for the M1X. Now, interestingly, there are three letters next to the chip. It's SCD. What exactly does that mean? Well, that basically refers to the Max that will be using this chip. And obviously there'll be three different models, which we can assume will be the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. And of course the bigger iMac. Now a quick refresher on the M1X and what we can expect. CPU Monkey gave us a list of specs and basically we should expect eight performance cores and four efficiency cores and also a 16 core GPU. And by the way, the TDP should be around 35 watts. And basically according to the benchmarks on the site, the M1X should be nearly 100% faster than the M1, which is absolutely insane. And do note, John Prosser sources do believe this benchmark is legit. So yeah, this very much could be the specs of the M1X and I am very much looking forward to seeing Apple destroy the competition once again. Anyways, going back to this leak, obviously we know the T6000 should be the M1X. So what about the T6001? Well, the developer unfortunately could not find any references to the generation of the chip or whether we'll see it in any Macs to begin with. But judging by the fact the number is very close to the T6000, which we know is the M1X, it's very likely this could be a variation of the M1X, much like we see with the M1. For example, maybe the T6001 could be a binned GPU version of the M1X, because of course, with certain M1 Max, we see a seven core GPU at the base variant. And so it's very likely that maybe Apple could give us a binned GPU for the base 14 inch MacBook Pro 2. It's either that, or maybe this could be the M1X with a dedicated GPU. Because of course, back in the Intel days, the 13 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro were very different under the hood with the 16 inch getting beefy internals due to the bigger size. And so we could see something very similar here where maybe Apple gives us a dedicated GPU that's made by them with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And so maybe that could explain this mysterious T6001 identifier. Though one of you guys did propose to me that maybe Apple could of course use a multi-chip package and use a different die for the GPU instead, which actually would be the better thing to do since of course Apple can maintain the best part of the M1, the fact it's a system on a chip and so everything is integrated. And of course that means that even with the better GPU, Apple can carry over the efficiency of the M1 to the M1X through this multi-chip package. However, the developer that found this does have a completely different idea because he thinks this could be the M2X, which I guess does make some sense because Mark Gurman did say that we could see Apple Silicon chips go up to 32 cores in terms of CPU and a mighty 128 core when it comes to the GPU. And so maybe this was the beast that Mark Gurman was referring to. And maybe this is a chip we see with the Mac Pro Mini, which of course we can see either late into this year or maybe early 2022. 
Anyways, moving on, let's talk about the other two identifiers that this developer has come across, and those are the T8110 and the T8112. So the first thing to note is the letter P with the T8110, that refers to phones. So basically this is the A15 that we're gonna see in the iPhone 13. But the second identifier has the letter G, which refers to tablets and entry-level Macs. So clearly that is the M2, that could be in the next generation iPad Pro, and of course the next generation MacBook Air that we've heard about that could launch early next year. Now the next interesting thing about these is the generation, so we can see it's H14, which means it is the 14th generation, and of course applying the rule that the generation number is always one number behind the A series number, that basically means this is definitely the A15, and since this is a new generation, it's very likely this could be based on the 5 nanometer plus process. Now a leaker on Twitter called Tron says that the improvements with H14 could be legendary and also says a lot of the feature sets could be things you can't get on the x86 architecture. Now if I were to guess I think he might be referring to the fact that maybe the M2 and the A15 could be based on the ARM V9 instruction set which according to some could bring some massive improvements over ARM V8, which is what the M1 is based on, but Rene Ritchie does downplay this and says that apparently Apple already incorporates a lot of the upgrades we see with ARM V9 in the M1 itself, and so this really won't be a drastic change as some might think. Anyways, one final note, the performance core for these H14 chips has been codenamed Avalanche, which sounds pretty mighty and could be hinting at the massive improvements we could see with the M2 and the A15. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the iCard above about my crazy theory on the M1X iMac launching next month. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.